All right, guys, it's finally that time of year. If you're like me, you're probably so excited you can't stand it. I've been resisting showing you video of all of my stand sites that I've been putting together here. But I thought, well, maybe I'd just give you an update here in one video. Now, if you've been watching my show in the past few years, you know what the beehive is. And that stand is in the same tree. I've added an extra section of ladder stand to get me a little bit higher. Breaks up my outline just a little bit more. That's where the Bushnell Trophy Cam is stationed. My buddy Mark, who let me borrow his cutty back, I've got an area over on the west side of the property that's basically what I would more or less refer to as a staging area. That's where the cutty back is. Now I've been thinking about this for several months and I managed to squeak a ladder stand into a hedge tree. Now, those of you guys from Missouri, Iowa, Osage orange trees are some of the hardest ones in the world to get a tree stand into. But I managed to do it. And that's going to be a killer spot. This one's a new area here. And um, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what it looks like here so you can get fired up with me before the season starts. So, tell you a little bit about it, then I'll show you the actual details, walk you through the, the stand location here. What we've got here is an area where I believe from my years past of experience in scouting and hunting the area, the deer like to bed off the property. And then a lot of times it's it's an agricultural crop that they're feeding on off the, off the property. And in years that it's not planted, then they end up reaping somewhat of a benefit from whatever's left over you know how the crop comes up from you know if, if it wasn't planted it'll still come up a little bit in the years following if it's left fallow so uh, long story short I think what they're doing a lot of times is they're bedding off the property and then they're filtering through this area which is a tight little funnel toward the water in the evenings I like to hunt in the afternoons, evenings. So all of my stands, I've got my back to the west. I hate looking into that sun. Try to put the sunlight in the eyes of your game animals. Now, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, the details here. So come on, check this out. Okay, I'm standing in a lane that's carved out here for vehicular traffic on the property. I believe a lot of times the deer like to use it or creek bottom that's just a little bit west of here. We're a lot like deer, you know, carve out a highway or a road pathway for us and we're going to follow it. So you guys that want to filter those deer into where you're at, look for stuff like this. I can give you a lot of tips on that, but a lot of you guys uh, you know, who've been doing this for years, you already know where I'm coming from. Tie that top section of barbed wire down, carve you a little hole uh, in a hedgerow, entice them to come through if possible. And I'd always check your your uh, restrictions on that in your uh, wildlife code in whatever state you're hunting in. But come on, check this out. And we're gonna filter by the truck here. And I will show you what's happening here. This lane peels off to the north towards some water. Right down in here is a creek bottom that I think that they will follow at times, depending on whatever <laughs> they've got going on or however they're feeling. You know how that is. That tree right there, dead center, I didn't want to get anywhere near it because it's dead. I don't want that falling on me. And um, I just didn't feel as comfy with my shooting opportunities from these trees in here. I want me to back up here. Alright, I've backed up to the lane where the truck's parked. I'm go ahead and slip through here. And I'll show you where the stand is. 
go ahead and pan up to it there. That has an extra section of ladder too. I always like something where I can uh, put my back against, something nice, uh, relatively straight. That is a locust tree, so I had to beat some of the little imperfections in the the, the wood off, but no big deal. You know, it flakes off and it's worked out pretty good there. Here's my approach I've got carved out here. I don't generally slick it down this much, but I did this time. I want to give you a little tip on one of the things that I do, I think, to actually makes the stands safer. You know, the bottom of these stands here, a lot of times, will have one of these deals that you can step on and shove this in the ground. And you're getting in the ground about that far. Well, a little extra precautionary measure that I like to do is on each side of the ladder as it hits the ground, I like to drive a, a rebar, and in this case that's a two foot long, five eighths inch rebar. And then I rope it down real good and tie it off. I think that gives me just a little bit more stability and safety. And as far as I'm concerned, when you're in a tree stand, you cannot ever be too concerned with safety you got folks who want to see you again so enjoy your hunt but remember you got your family who's counting on you to get back home and another thing that I'll add too is when you gift yourself up there a little bit higher like I did with an extra section of ladder right there in the center of the screen is that one of those braces one comes with it typically these are older stands or comfort zones. I have added an extra one of those bracer bars there. You can see. So I've got two. I'm going to give you a shot from the top up there. One thing I'll reference and stress here. I've already mentioned I'm in a locust tree. Well, there's quite a few of them around me here. This can be noisy. <laughs> you guys who have hunted early season... And here in the Show Me State, our season kicks off September 15th, so it's right around the corner. Today we have a heat advisory. We got, it's supposed to feel like 105 plus, no biggie, but depending on how much humidity is around you, it, it might make a difference. But uh, you could be pretty miserable early season, topping off with all these locusts sounding off like they're starting to do right now. So I think you get the picture. I'm going to give you a spin around here. There's a creek. runs behind me. It runs from off the property. It runs more or less northwest. Now, it's really hard to see this, but what we've got going here is a north-south hedgerow. And the higher you get up when you're near a hedgerow, I believe the more it breaks you up. They will travel down the east side of that because that's the shadows. Again, I hunt afternoons. Okay, you can see the truck through there. And then right there in the center, you can kind of see that I've got a trail cam there. I'm thinking about moving that. Well guys, like I said, that was just a quick update. So I've got three stands up, and they're all bow stands. This is a property that I have permission to bow hunt. Always excited to be able to get out here and, and partake in my passion. I've got one other property that I'm gonna get out and put another stand out on. At this point, you know, there may be another one. Like I say, being a land surveyor has its perks. <laughs> Hope you guys get out there and enjoy it too. Whatever state you're hunting in, keep you posted on your seasons. Until next time, guys, happy hunting to you.